In order to master organic chemistry, it's a good idea to know some structural features of the methyl anion. And let me show you what we should focus on here. First of all, this carbon right here, remember, has three bonds and one lone pair, so that gives him a formal charge of negative one. That's the first thing we should know about methyl anion. The other thing we should notice here is that he has a steric number of four, and in another online lecture, we talked about having a steric number of four means that you are sp3 hybridized which means these bond angles should be pretty close to 109.5 degrees. However, remember the concept here, lone pair electrons take up more space. So the electrons on top of him are going to push down on those bonds, which means the bond angles are going to be slightly less than 109.5, which means this happens to be the actual geometry of a methyl anion. The way we interpret this is the hydrogen on the left is going back behind the plane, the hydrogen in the middle is coming out at you, and the hydrogen on the right is in plane with the screen, which means that the lone pair of electrons must be placed in an sp3 hybridized orbital. Remember, every sp3 hybridized atom has four sp3 hybridized orbitals, and in this case, three of them are bonding to the hydrogens, and the one left over is housing the two electrons. We'll see later on in organic chemistry how this is going to come in handy for many reasons. So just make sure you know these structural details of the methyl anion.